in all the world, there's nothing like Antarctica. Penguins, the seals, the birds require the ocean as a source of food. No water, no life. We really need to protect the entire Antarctic system, land, sky, and sea, as a system that is fundamental to keeping us alive. We really do need to protect it as if our lives depend on it, because they do. I wish that people could really understand the significance of this place, learn from our mistakes. We have a chance. It isn't too late to turn things around. I've been always interested in, in complex systems, and there is no more complex system than the planet, but it's also our life support system. There's an amazing set of pictures of Bruce McCandless, who was a shuttle astronaut in the early to mid 80s, several hundred meters away from the space shuttle, and there's just this guy in a space suit hanging in space. But he was relying on mechanical systems to pump in air, you know, keep his temperature right. Now, it would have been inconceivable to him to do anything that might compromise his life support system. You know, whatever else was going through his head while he was doing his duties and carrying out his mission, he was keeping a careful eye on his life support system. And down here on Earth, we're in the same position. We're on this spaceship, and it would be inconceivable to me to go out of our way to compromise it. I just think every world leader should be brought to Antarctica. I think the, ne the next get-together of world leaders should be right, right here so they can you know, see you know, what it is that we've got to protect, what it is we've got to save. Talking to people who are based down here in the Antarctic, they all know that global warming's happening. They can see it every day around them. They can see the glaciers disappearing. They can see summer ice beginning to disappear. In this particular region of the Antarctic, over the last 50 years, the temperature's gone up by about six degrees. And, you know, that's a lot. We do only have one world, and, you know, we owe it to that that one world and we owe it to our children and grandchildren to protect this one world. I was first here 22 years ago. That first trip had a big impact. This trip has also had a big impact on me because the changes that I've seen since I was here are quite startling and the scientists confirm that with their measurements and you can see it with your own eyes. So um, it's a unique vantage point from which to see the change occurring throughout the planet and uh, it causes me to redouble my determination to, to help bring about the change that's needed. Urgency is the key message because the sooner we start, uh, the better chance we're going to have uh, of solving this. And again, I'm optimistic. I think we're going to do it. I'm encouraged. But uh, time's a-wasting. <laughs>